This is going to be a quick video to introduce the data set droughts that I use in many of my classes. If you go here to my GitHub repository under my GitHub username, which is just my last name, and the repository named data, you can scroll down to the data set named droughts. Now let's open up the text file of it. You can access the CSV if you like, but the text file is going to help us introduce it a little bit better. This is a data set I like to use for examples surrounding the exponential distribution because this data set measures time between rain events at the Winnipeg International Airport in Canada, and time here is measured in days. I have a uh, quick piece of R code for how you can read the data set into R straight off of my GitHub repository. And down here at the bottom of this readme, there's the variable length, which specifically records the length of time from the completion of the last rain event to the beginning of the next rain event, and that's measured in days. And there's the variable year which just records the year at which the consecutive rain events happened. Now, in all honesty, this data set actually comes from an R library named DAAG under the same name Droughts. Here is the appropriately sourced help file for this data set. I just often borrow this data set so frequently that I host it myself in my own repository. And in fact, we should probably give an adequate citation since I so commonly use this data set. Thank you, John and John. 